I'm going to take a do much more when I'm asleep. Yep. Hey, Ralph. Great. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the May 28th, 2024 Eastlong Meadow Town Council uh, meeting. I would ask that we stand at this time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would ask that uh, we take a moment of silence to reflect on um, all the events happening throughout the world and locally. Thank you. Um, I have to announce that this meeting is being recorded by LCAT. And I would ask if anyone in the audience is recording, please uh, state your name for the record. Okay, seeing none. Um, Jeannie, are there anyone signed up for public comments? No, there is not. And Don, is there anyone online? Nope. Okay, council comments. Counselors. Okay, I have a couple. Um, <laughs> of course you do First thing I would like to do is um, I didn't realize you had to sign up for public comment ahead of time. Nope, actually, if you'd like to uh, come up under public comment, is it that time? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right, about it. No, no problem at all. It's an opportunity, and you dress up pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> and Ralph, um, Ralph Butler, live at Four Elmcrest Street in East Long Meadow. I've lived here for. 60 years, except for four years in the Air Force, and a um, wonderful town. I'm glad to be here. Thanks Thank for you. service. Service. If I may sit? Please. Of course. I, I think you guys are doing a great job. I love this form of government. I really do. I voted for it. Um, well, when I noticed, or when I got this little thing in the reminder, it made me think, of, geez, maybe it's time that I come down and ask a few questions. Um, and I realize this isn't set in gold yet, I don't believe. No. That's okay. why we're having the public hearing tonight. Exactly. So on, my question is, what is a point-to-point -point van? Um, so when we go through the process, we'll go through it. But the point-to-point -point van is for the Council of Aging, their vans uh, outside. Okay. Pick up residents, drop right. them okay. off. Okay. Notice they have a brand new one out there now, and I wondered, they're going to get another one. So yes. Apparently. So Tom, correct me if I'm wrong. They're retiring one and replacing correct. one. All right. Another question. Roadway improvements, $500,000. Is that repaving or is that something else besides repaving? I believe most of that ends up being used for repaving along with all the Chapter 90 uh, money that we receive, which is five, 580. 580000 Plus supplement. We'll be able to pave some roads. As much as that as amount of money gets us. Well, it doesn't get much, unfortunately. I know that. But $600,000 from Dearborn to Westwood. Again, I asked yep. CIP, what does that stand for? So that's an acronym. Um, basically, it's a grant program. So it's roughly $9 million for that section of road, if I'm correct. We don't have an estimate for this section yet. Uh, this up here is $10 million in climbing. So we, we had started this North Main Corridor, if I may. Please. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's Transportation Improvement Program. Okay. Um, and so we have to kick in. We had previously kicked in money from Harkness to Dearborn, uh, which was like 560000 500 Seriously? somewhere in there, 560000 for a $10 million federally and state-funded uh, improvement project. And so we're just going to continue down the line on, on North Main. Right, very good. Well, when I saw the Dearborn to Westwood, the, my mind, the worst part of the road is in front of the new town hall down there. Right. And that's, that's already underway. It's already underway. Yep. All right. Fire engine number two, lease payment. Is that a, once a year? Yeah, it's a yearly lease payment. We have uh, five payments on it. And I believe this is payment three of five. Is that lease to own? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. 
Same with the ambulance? Yes, absolutely. Police the replacement vehicle, I understand that completely, but a pickup truck. There's a police department <laughs> pickup truck when the highway department seems to have uh, everybody in the highway department has their own pickup truck. I'm going to refer this to our town manager. <laughs> sure. He would be the best one to talk on it. So uh, the chief has sort of, and, and the chief before, have sort of identified uh, a pickup truck as something that uh, that the department could use and use often. Um, it's been on the capital plan. They've been asking for for about four or five years. Um, and chief assured me that the the there's plenty of uses for this pickup vehicle that uh, they could sort of employ. If they need one, they can't they borrow one from the highway department? Well, I guess that gets into a little bit of a coordination issue. Uh, like you said, everybody has a truck, but everybody's using a truck every day. Now, do we know what kind of pickups are going to be? It may be a four-door pickup? I believe so. A little short bed on it? Uh, I don't think so, because part of their explanation was transporting longer equipment or long guns and ammo, uh, road closure equipment, things of that nature. So Most of those four-wheel pickups have a little short bed, and there's probably more room inside one of their SUVs than there isn't. Right, and we pickup trucks. He talked about uh, this at length with financial oversight, um, and um, I believe we sort of agreed that if there was something that made more sense than a pickup truck, uh, that we would explore that option uh, sort of if it was more fiscally responsible to do so. Okay, maybe a van or something like that. That was brought more specific. limited, more space. Urban Park Middle School. It's like eighteen years old. Needs windows already. The the sashes, I guess, are rotting out. Yes, it breaks my heart. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but is that really true? They're they're gone and it's twenty. It's in twenty years. Yeah, the twenty five. No, they yeah. built the school in 21. I don't disagree. I was, I was I think, uh, sad to see that the workmanship from the original construction was in the, at that point. But. Okay. Uh, that modular classroom replacement, million three. Uh, I suppose that's justified. Um, yeah, the space. School teacher, so I don't know what the <laughs> so, space is is half of the space is uninhabitable at this point and the other half is getting there fast. Um, we had pre this as a project that was previously approved um, that when we went out to bid with the inflation and things, we didn't have enough money to do it. Um, so this is this $1.3 million is uh, the added cost from the 800,000 that was already approved 850,000 that was already approved. Um, okay. That's good. Question for for, for the, the board. Does the town have a architectural review committee or a board or something that would preview the way a building's going to look before it's built in town? Um, it sounds like you're talking about a design review committee. Yes, a design review. The uh, East Long Meadow zoning bylaws have one uh, set up but I don't believe it's, I know it's not active at this time. So it reverts back to the planning board, um, acts as the design review committee. Shame on us for not having one. And shame on that is, East Bank and their architect for building that monstrosity in the middle of our town. My final word, thank you very much for your attention. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you thank Ralph. You. Council comments. Um, so one of the things I wanted to uh, bring up and thank everyone on the center steering, center district steering committee. Um, they had a public forum, which was extremely well attended. Um, it was put on very well. They were able to gather a ton of information and different suggestions from residents. Um, it was uh, very nice to see all the residents turn out uh, with interest on it. And I mean, some had certain opinions and others had different opinions, 
but to be able to grasp all of that and bring it together was wonderful. And uh, I'm sure the, the steering committee will continue on and uh, there is a lot of work for them to do, but I just wanted to say uh, kudos for such a well, uh, well run uh, event. Um, one other comment I wanted to make was um, we just came through yesterday, uh, Memorial day. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I, uh, attended the ceremony uh, that was held at the high school. And I have to say that our American Legion does a, a wonderful, wonderful job with that. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit humbling hearing all the names, um, but I think it's something that uh, we have to say thank you to them for, and uh, wonderful job. So with that, I'm assuming the town manager has no report other than our budget for us. <laughs> the big packet is my report tonight, but I will echo your sentiment. Uh, the The ceremony yesterday was uh, outstanding, uh, well attended. Um, and thanks to our legislators that showed up as well. Um, it was, uh, it was again, humbling is a very good word and uh, Memorial Day should humble us all. Um, and be thankful for what we have um, and the sacrifice that that the men and women made to give us Memorial Day. So can I add something? Please. Um, I also want to add that what was exciting to see the, the children from Meadowbrook School participate. Yeah. They all had on ident identical sweat uh, t-shirts and it was kindergarten to second grade. Yep. And they all delivered a rose um, in honor of the fallen. And just to see these young kids already participate in a, an event that's so important for the community. Um, I hope that continues. That's great. And I thought it was nice they included sort of background of some of the folks of the name. So just like kind of where they where they're from, what their background was. And how young they were. Yeah, yeah. I think the high, oldest one was 37, but I heard some 19, yep. 20. Um, yeah. Mm. Very, very well run event. Um, we're going to move on to number six, communications, correspondence, and announcements. Um, just uh, one quick announcement from me. In June, we are going to hold two meetings. Um, we have quite a few bylaws and other uh, public hearings. So I think it's uh, prudent for us to hold two meetings in June. And then hopefully we kick into a summer um, schedule, which is uh, not like the budget season. So this will be like June the 11th and June. The yeah, the, se the second week Friday. and the fourth week. And uh, next up is a public hearing. Um, so tonight we have a public hearing for the budget um, as required or as outlined under Article 6, Section 1 of the Charter. Um, I would ask that our financial oversight committee come forward. And as they do, what I would ask our town clerk to read the legal notice into the record. Okay. East Long Meadow Town Council hereby gives notice that it will hold a public hearing on May 28, 2024, at 6 p.m. in the Council on Aging Media Room, 328 North Main Street, and via Zoom webinar, review the proposed FY25 capital improvement plan and operating budget as outlined by Article 6, Section 1 of the East Long Meadow Home Rule Charter. The proposed FY25 Capital Improvement Plan the operating budget can be reviewed in the clerk's office or on the town's website. For the town council, Gene Arquagletti, town clerk, clerk of the council. Thank you. So I'm just going to give a, a quick overview of how uh, the public hearing is going to run. Um, I will ask the Financial Oversight Committee to uh, give a report on the last five, six weeks of their work, um, looking over the budget. Um, at that time, then we will go through the operating budget. I'm gonna do a line item by line item with um, that 2025 amount. Um, at that time, I would say if anyone had a question on any of the departments or the amounts, as the department's called, just call question. I will mark it and then we'll go back to it. Um, and then we will go from the operating budget to the capital plan, same exact routine. Once that's done, the audience also, if there's any questions on it, just yell out question, we'll mark it, 
and then uh, we'll go through the audience, any uh, questions that they have on it. So at this time, our Financial Oversight Committee, welcome. Um, I'd like to introduce Don Starks as chair, uh, Jim Broderick, Russ Denver, John Torshu is also on it, and Kathy Hill. And uh, I'd first like to say thank you for all your work. Um, I was at all the meetings, extremely well done, uh, extremely in depth, and we do appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. With that, I will turn it over. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't have a fairly long list of thank yous. Um, I'd like to thank the uh, my fellow colleagues on the committee. Everyone gave 100%. There were oftentimes um, documents, sometimes 128 pages that arrived, and everyone read everything. Everyone did their homework really well, came in prepared and with great questions and interest. And we did our due diligence. Um, I'd like to um, thank Jim Broderick, who uh, we are very lucky to have in town. He's been doing this since I believe the mid eighties. <laughs> um, he was five years old then. Um, <laughs> highly intelligent and comes up with fantastic questions. Russ Denver, an old hand at Appropriations Committee. I use old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aging myself. I'm right there with him. Um, and he's come back with some really great insight. Kathy Hill has been on um, our committee for a long time, and I have to give special thanks to her. Uh, my creative juices were not really keyed in this weekend to write our letter of recommendation. And she not only served as editor, but she helped um, truncate and get it very concise. So thank you. Uh, John Torsha, who made many long commutes uh, from Boston and uh, was very active, as well as Ralph Page. Um, great questions made us really think about things. So he is doing his job. Um, we appreciate that. I also want to give a shout out to the clerk's office, Jackie and Jeannie, for um, catching errors. They are my eagle eyes um, and they're fantastic. Um, as well as Tom Christensen and Kim Collins, who attended every single meeting. Uh, and we had a very collegial and um, informative discussions. So we were thankful for that. I'd like to thank the school committee, um, Gordon Smith, who was very prompt in answering some late breaking questions and a special sh shout out to Pam Blair, who um, typed out a long missive that answered all of our questions so that we were able to be very prepared when they came and it was a very smooth and informative session. So thank you. And without any further ado, uh, I would like to read the um, East Long Meadow Town Council Financial Oversight Committee Fiscal Year 2025 Budget Recommendations. Dear members of the council, Fiscal year 25 marked the start of the budget season under our new town manager, Tom Christensen, and with it, opportunities to revise our process as well. The Financial Oversight Committee went, meant, excuse me, met weekly starting from April 5th through May 24th. This year, the FOC, I'll use that acronym while we go forward, met with the town manager and the finance director, Kim Collins, who represented the department budgets, level one, and how they arrived at their level two recommendation. The committee was presented with a highly detailed review of town resources, financial obligations, and future needs. We are fortunate to have a town manager and finance director who know and can speak to all aspects of the town's fiscal status. The committee received highly detailed information from the school department, including totals from revolving funds and explanations of their purpose, enrollment figures and space needs for Willie Ross School, and information about the school choice program. They gave us a deeper understanding of the school's budget, 
and answered many of our questions. It also supported the case for their budget as presented. We encourage this level of collaboration to continue going forward. The FY25 budget is solid and represents realistic expenditures balanced by carefully managed fiscal reserves and with a regard for the citizens and taxpayers of the town. This is in bold print. The Financial Oversight Committee recommends the fiscal year 2025 budget as presented with no changes. As cities and towns across the Commonwealth struggle to balance budgets against the reality of looming cuts, the town of East Longmeadow moves into the upcoming fiscal year with its services and programs intact. However, a budget of this magnitude may not be sustainable for future years. With an eye to the future, the FOC strongly urges the town council that the town council consider the following recommendations. First, a review of the definition of capital expenses. For example, Chromebooks have a three-year life expenses expectancy and individually are low dollar cost. Should they be in the operating budget rather than the capital budget? Additionally, the effects of the debt service we carry and impacts on the capital projects should be examined as well. Creation of fiscally sound policy should be crafted to promote a sustainable budget. It should reflect capital spending that positively impacts the quality of life issues like street paving and departmental needs while keeping an eye on the overall spending trends. Second, the council that the council undertake a full study of the state mandated net school spending formula and its impact on the budget. Currently, the town funds the school well above the required minimum contribution. A study of this level of sustainability is essential. And thirdly, the establishment of a capital expense stabilization fund. This will ensure that funds are available when or if the town needs them without having to wait for the state certification of free cash. In conclusion, the FOC enthusiastically recommends fiscal year 2025 budget and capital improvement plan of $72,213,733, a 4.7% increase over the previous fiscal year. This budget is complex and requires steadfast and educated attention. The forces of inflation, health benefits and OPEB costs, contractual obligations, infrastructure needs, and unfunded state mandates will be annual challenges. Strategic planning and adherence to strong fiscal policy is critical to a financially strong East Long Meadow. <clears throat> Thank you for your consideration. Respectfully submitted the Town Council Financial Oversight Committee. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, may I just make yes. uh, one note? Uh, it, it is a minor error at the very beginning of the statement where it opens, FY25. It, in fact, should say FY24, and I'll take responsibility for not catching that. Oh, okay. That's when Tom started. FY25. Uh, yeah, it was intended <laughs> to say last July when Tom right. started. Thank you, Kathy. Do any of the counselors have any questions for the Finance Oversight Committee? I'll even mention the pickup truck. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Butler already did that. If I, if I may, I have a, a comment, and I, I mentioned it um, at the end of our finance meeting on Friday. These three recommendations. Um, to me, constitute uh, goals for the council to implement in this next fiscal year. 
since by charter, our main responsibility is to legislate uh, and oversee the town's uh, budget and its resources. And the recommendations from this subcommittee uh, provide a, a perfect blueprint to ensure that the end result a year from now is still a robust budget with uh, the reserves uh, that we need to remain solvent, as well as to, uh, with respect to making sure that we keep the uh, taxpayers at the front of our thinking because they must bear the burden of uh, raising and appropriating the, these funds. Uh, so I, I personally think that we have a, certainly our work cut out for us, but these are three very uh, detailed goals that we can get our teeth into um, starting in July. Would agree. Any other comments? Tom, if I may. Please. Um, so I just wanted to sort of reiterate the level of collaboration and I want to thank you for the experience. Um, Kim and I talked before and after all of our meetings, obviously, and I feel like um, we have a direction trying to go in and we got so many good ideas for not only this year, but next year and years to come. Um, so I just want to thank everybody for uh, a collaborative and collegial experience, not only going through many, multiple, many pages of the budget, but conversation about East Long Meadow and where we should go from here. So I just want to say thanks. I, I did enjoy uh, the last six weeks, uh, if I could say that. Maybe we don't pick Friday afternoon next year. <laughs> um, but thank you. Honestly, thanks a lot. Thank you. And I want to thank again uh, the entire committee for everything that they've done. Um, but I am going to reiterate and uh, thank the school committee, mm. um, uh, Superintendent Gordon, Pam Blair. Um, the information that they gave us was outstanding, and it did. It, it simplified it and uh, made it a lot easier and open. And, uh, I mean, typically the, the school budget's something where you, you stress about and you're going back and forth. And this year it was clear sailing, and it was fantastic. So I think I'll also note – I. I I'm confident or happy that we're recommending, you know, the budget as is because there's so many communities, particularly in the eastern part of the state, where they're either literally just defunded their budget or are facing massive budget losses because of all this kind of COVID era money that came and went now. Um, and I think the smart decisions that a lot of folks played over the last couple of years put us in a position that we didn't need to cut anybody. And if anything, we're adding actually people and we're able to preserve uh, those folks that we got during the pandemic. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything. Okay, so at this time, we are going to move on to the operating, the proposed uh, 2025 operating budget. I will go through um, state the department, um, the total amount, and if anyone has any Concerns or questions on it, please just uh, say question. I will mark it. And then once we've gone through all of them, then we'll come back to it. Um, so to start, uh, town council, um, town managers level three recommendation, uh, $44,460. Uh, town manager department, 321819 uh, total reserve fund transfer uh, account, 110,000. Uh, total for accounting department, $494,348. Total for the assessor's department, $314,348. Total treasurer collector, uh, $424,092. A total legal services budget, 200,000. Total human resources, $316,875. Total uh, IT, information technology, 
$1,489,603. Total town, uh, town council and town clerk department, uh, $251,901. Uh, total for the elections, $69,800. Uh, total planning, zoning, and conservation, uh, $171,887. The total general government, uh, $4,209,133. Uh, police department, the total, $3,595,305. Total fire department. 1,747,515. Um, total East Long Meadow Dispatch, $161,519. Total Building Inspector, $271,160. Bringing the total for public safety to $5,775,499. Uh, total for the highway, $2,170,017. Total for building facilities, $1,182,743. Total snow and ice, $149,594. Total town and school utility, $1,651,180. <laughs> total trash collection disposal, $1,588,089. Total waste collection disposal, 134824 Total for public works, $6,876,447. Total for the health department. 345,901. Total for the Council of Aging, $419,048. Total for Veteran Services, 179,530. Total Health and Human Services, uh, combined $944,479. Uh, total for the Public Library, uh, 963,806. Total for the Recreation Department, 317,140. Uh, total for Celebration Cultural Historical, 28,900. Uh, total for Cultural and Recreation is 1,309,846. Uh, total Retirement of Debt, $917,445. Total interest on long term, uh, $220,370. Total interest on short term, $1,251,636. Total debt service, $2,389,451. Total employee benefits, $621,433. Total for workers' compensation, $252,000. Total for health insurance, $7,874,210. Total liability and unemployment, $538,311. Uh, total retirement contribution. 5,414,073. Uh, total Pioneer Valley Planning Commission assessment is $3,075. Um, total insurance, 14,703,102. Uh, total for the town, $36,207,957. Uh, total for the school, <clears throat> 35,995,126. Uh, total for school committee, $10,650. Bringing the total total to of the school to $36,005,776. Um, 
Total education is the same, 36,005,776. Bringing the town's grand total to 72,213,733. And that is the operating budget. Having no questions on that, um, I'd like to move right into um, a list of our capital projects. Um, Under motion number five is the list of these. Um, So these are projects from the general fund. Um, I will go through, so it's through the Council of Aging, the point to point van. Uh, $45,000. It's recommended to be funded from ARPA funds. Uh, The department is DPW, roadway improvements, $500,000 to be funded from raise and appropriate. Uh, The DPW design cost for North Main for proposed tip from Dearborn to Westwood, $600,000 to be funded from raise and appropriate. Uh, DPW, a Ford Ranger to replace a 2009 Ford Crown Victoria, $55,453 to be funded from ARPA funds. Uh, The fire department, engine two replacement, which is lease year three of five, $165,976. The total lease payment is $189,686 to be funded ARPA is $165,976, and out of the ambulance will be $23,711. The fire, Rescue One, lease year two of three, uh, $85,470. Again, that's out of the general fund. The total lease payment is $170,940. Out of free cash is $68,885. to be funded from ARPA is $16,584.78, and to be funded from the ambulance is $85,470. For the police department, a police vehicle replacement, $68,938 to be funded by raise and appropriate at $41,138 and $27,800 from ARPA. Police department pickup truck, $71,770, no, $71,707 to be funded from free cash. Uh, East Long Meadow Public Schools, uh, the Birchland Park window sash replacement is $53,891 to be funded from ARPA funds. Um, The IT department, Chromebook replacement, $87,000. Um, raise and appropriate is $48,345.80 and 38654 from ARPA. Um, under the IT department, security upgrade, $118,650, which is to be funded from free cash. Total capital recommended as part of the FY 2025 budget is $1,852,085. Um, and then proposed uh, capital projects funded by bonding uh, from the general fund under the East Long Meadow Public Schools is the Mountain View Modular Classroom Replacements, which is $1,340,885, and that is to be bonded. Uh, projects from enterprise funds, uh, the sewer enterprise. Uh, the department is the DPW sewer. They're in module upgrades, $69,000. That's to be bonded. Um, DPW sewer, the inflow and infiltration sewer rehabilitation is $100,000. That is to be bonded. Uh, DPW sewer, uh, Ford uh, number 27 Taurus uh, admin vehicle. Uh, They are looking to replace it with a Ford Ranger. Um, This is 50% from the sewer and which is $26,571 to be funded by retained earnings, $4,980 and $21,591 from the vehicle reserve account. 
Um, project recommended for the sewer enterprise funds total 195,571. Stormwater enterprise. Uh, the department is the DPW stormwater um, whetstone dam uh, short range plan is $289,340 uh, to be bonded. The DPW stormwater fund again. Um, uh, Spate Arden Culvert replacement is $198,703, and that's also to be bonded. Uh, the projects uh, recommended for the Stormwater Enterprise Fund is $488,043. Uh, LCAT Enterprise Fund, um, again, the department is LCAT. Uh, broadcast server replacement, $56,180. Uh, to upgrade the broadcast server equipment, um, information technology, um, meeting room media replacements, 31,500, um, and it's media upgrades. The total projects from the LCAP fund is $87,680. Uh, projects out of the ambulance fund. Again, it's the fire department engine two replacement, which is your... Uh, Three of five, twenty-three thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars, and again, the total lease payment for that is one hundred and eighty-nine thousand six eighty-six, of which twenty-three thousand seven hundred and eleven is paid out of the ambulance, and one hundred and sixty-five thousand nine seventy-six is from ARPA. Uh, the rescue one um, payment two of three, the lease payment two of three, out of the ambulance fund is eighty-five thousand four hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, the total lease payment again was one hundred and seventy thousand nine hundred and forty, eighty-five thousand or so coming out of the ambulance. Uh, free cash will uh, be sixty-eight thousand eight eighty-five, and out of ARPA will be sixteen thousand five hundred and eighty-four dollars and seventy-eight cents, bringing the total for the ambulance to one hundred and nine thousand one hundred and eighty-one dollars. Um, a recommended project uh, for CPA funding um, through recreation is the Chestnut Street additional playing fields. Uh, the recommendation is 50000 for a feasibility study for the field on Chestnut Street. Um, the projects recommended for the CPA funding is $50,000. Um, that is one that we are um, in June holding a separate public hearing on because it is CPA funding. And this council will have to go through that and approve that at that time or not approve it once we uh, go through all of that. Um, projects from other funds, grants, um, information technology, uh, traffic cameras, 40590 uh, That is hopeful that we have a Mass Gaming Commission grant for. Um, for East Long Meadow Public Schools, the Maple Shade Roof Replacement, of $2,900,000. We are hopeful to get into the MSBA Accelerated Repair Grant. Um, for the DPW building, uh, the HVAC upgrades is 90,804, and we are hopeful to receive a Green Communities Grant for that. So projects recommended to be funded from other sources is 3,031,394 bringing total capital to $9,087,910. Okay. And hearing no questions, we can move into the next fun part, which is our motions. Unless any counselors have any thoughts or on the budget. So at this time, just um, we start with motions and do we need to close the hearing first? It's part of the hearing. It's, I don't guarantee it. Okay. Because if you don't approve the budget, you'll have to continue the public hearing. Perfect. Okay. Nicely. Well, once we go through all the motions, it, literally go through the motions. <laughs> yes, questions. So we don't the know. Joke never gets old. <laughs> nope. Okay. Gotcha. Unless there's anyone from the public that would like to say something with regards to the budget, we would be open to hearing from you. Seeing no one jump up and run up to the front, we will start with uh, the motions. Um, 
I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate $72,213,733 for town purposes <coughs> and charges in anticipation of revenue during the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2025 for the operation of the town departments as contained in the town of East Longmeadow FY 2025 proposed town budget <laughs> using the column headed 2025 town manager level three. Second. Having a motion made and seconded, any discussion? Hearing none, well, we are all here. We don't have to do roll call, do we? <laughs> in favor, please say aye. 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 Is there any opposed? Okay, motion two. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate $100,000 to be added to the stabilization fund account 8216 for fiscal year 2025 for the purpose of setting aside funds for future expenditures. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion three. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate $100,000 to be added to the other post-employment benefits liability trust, OPEB, uh, number 8225, for fiscal year 2025. Second. Having a motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Is there any opposed? Motion number four. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate 75000 to fund the compensated absences reserve account number 8226 for fiscal year 2025. I will second that motion. I'm having a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion number five. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate, transfer and reappropriate, and or borrow in accordance with MGL Chapter 44 for capital projects for the 2025 fiscal year, a total sum of $6,006,516 for the purposes and in the amount set forth in the proposed FY 2025 capital projects a copy of which is attached to this motion as follows. Raise and appropriate for general fund capital projects, $1,189,483.80 to be raised and appropriated, $1,340,885 to be bonded for a total of $2,530,000 $368.80 for general fund capital projects to be appropriated from the town's ARPA funds, $403,358.98 to be appropriated from free cash, $259,242.22 raise and appropriate for sewer enterprise fund capital projects. 169,000 to be bonded from Sewer Enterprise, Sewer Enterprise Fund, $4,980 from retained earnings, and $21,591 from the vehicle reserve for a total of $195,571. Raise and appropriate for Water Enterprise Fund capital projects, $1,000,000. $837,500 to be bonded from Water Enterprise Fund, $26,571 from the vehicle reserve, $69,000 from retained, retained earnings for a total of $1,933,071. Raise and appropriate for Stormwater Enterprise Fund capital projects. $488,043 to be bonded from Stormwater Enterprise Fund for a total of $488,043. Raise and appropriate for Ambulance Fund $109,181 to, 
to be paid from the ambulance, ambulance fund receipts reserved. Raise and appropriate for LCAT fund $87,680 to be paid from the LCAT Enterprise Fund. Capital projects in the amount of $3,081,394 were approved contingent upon grant funding and town council approval of CPA funds as noted in the table below. Second. Having a motion made and seconded, is there any additional uh, comments? Any further comments? There are none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Is there any opposed? Okay, motion six. I move to increase the water rates from $4.20 to $4.40 per 100 cubic feet for fiscal year 2025. Said rate has been factored into the Water Enterprise Fund budget for fiscal year 2025. Second. Having a motion made and seconded, any additional uh, discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion number seven. Move to increase the sewer rates from $4.10 to $4.74 per, oh, per 100 cubic feet for fiscal year 2025. Said rate has been factored into the sewer enterprise fund budget for fiscal year 2025. Is there a second? I'll second. Have a motion made and seconded. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion number eight. Um, I move the town vote to approve the proposed FY 2025 stormwater fee schedule, a copy of which is attached to this motion and is made a part hereof by reference, entitled FY. 24 stormwater enterprise rates with proposed FY25 rates. Said rate has been factored into the stormwater enterprise fund, uh, fund for fiscal year 2025. Second. I have a motion made and seconded. Uh, further discussion? Um, I'd just like to state if anyone hasn't seen it, it's basically a $15 uh, increase per um, Category. Category. Um, and with that, any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion number nine. I move the town vote to appropriate $3,697,391 for the Water Enterprise Fund Budget for fiscal year 2025 and that $3,697,391 be raised from enterprise receipts, a copy of which is attached to this motion and is made a part hereof by reference entitled Water Enterprise Fund. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Jim carries motion number 10. I move the town vote to appropriate $2,740,398 for the sewer enterprise fund budget for fiscal year 2025, and that $2,740,398 be raised from enterprise receipts, of which is attached to this motion and is made a part hereof by reference entitled Sewer Enterprise Fund. Second. Having a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion 11. I move the town vote to appropriate $473,826 for the Stormwater Enterprise Fund budget for fiscal year 2025 and that $473,826 be raised from enterprise receipts a copy of which is attached to this motion and is made a part hereof by reference entitled Stormwater Enterprise Fund. I second the motion. Having a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion, motion passes. Motion number 12. I move the town vote to appropriate $211,785 
for the LCAT Enterprise Fund budget for fiscal year 2025, and that 211785 be raised from enterprise receipts, a copy of which is attached to this motion and is made a part hereof by reference, entitled LCAT Enterprise Fund. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion number 13. I move the town vote to authorize revolving fund spending limits for various town departments appropriate pursuant to the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 44, Section 3E and a half for fiscal year 2025 as follows. Revolving fund, solid waste disposal number 2805, authorized to spend fund, health department, revenue source, sale of trash bags and recycled rebates, use of funds, salaries, expenses, supplies and contractual services to operate the solid waste disposal and recycling program. This <laughs> year's funding limit is $200,892. Then the fund, Council on Aging number 2809, as to Council on Aging, the source general council on aging programs and events such as fitness room memberships, exercise class fees, event fees, use of funds, the salaries, expenses, and contractual expenses to operate these programs at the Council on Aging with a spending limit of $30,000. I second. <clears throat> Having a motion made and seconded. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? And motion number 14. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate $20,000 to fund the Droid Road Maple Street District Improvement Financing Program, account 2663 for fiscal year 2025. I'm going to second. <laughs> and a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion 15. Uh, I move the town vote to authorize receipts reserved for appropriation for the ambulance fund pursuant to the provisions of Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 40, Section 5F, for fiscal year 2025, as follows. Second, oh, you want to? No, I've yeah. got to go through it okay. because it's <laughs> as follows. Um, so the description is um, the salary. Fiscal year 2025 proposed budget, $1,550,732, um, which is an increase of $247,972. Uh, Non-salary for fiscal year 2025 proposed budget is $259,304, an increase of $31,216. Um, the explanation on that is ambulance supplies, billing annual service, and intercept fees. Um, for capital, <clears throat> FY25 is blank, which is a reduction of $354,930. Uh, the total for the fund is $1,810,036. Uh, revenues are $2,050,000. Uh, net profit or deficit is two hundred and thirty nine. A uh, profit of two hundred and thirty nine thousand uh, nine hundred and sixty four. Um, an expected fund balance will be two million ninety six thousand five ninety seven. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> <laughs> Having a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion on it? No, I will not read it further. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion number 16. I move the town vote to accept the recommendations of the Community Preservation Committee and appropriate from the Community Preservation Fund Reserve for fiscal year 2025 from the revenues estimated to be 300,000 for the purpose and the amounts as follows. Administrative expenses, 5%. Historic resource reserve, 10%. Community Housing Reserve, 10%. Open Space Reserve, 10%. Undesignated General Reserve, 65%. And to appropriate from the CPA fund to the following, 
full bond payment of principal and interest, $37,800. Brown property payment of principal and interest, $47,680. Second. Having a motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion number 17. <clears throat> I move the town vote to approve the fiscal year 2025 ambulance rates as presented in the Comstar East Long Meadow Fire Department 2024 rate change form below. Um, all right, so start with uh, charges, uh, BLS emergency base rate. Uh, I don't know what the best way to read this is. Just the new rate. Just the new one? Yep. Excuse me. Oh, just the new rate? Okay. BLS emergency base rate, uh, new rate is $1,349.04. Uh, BLS non-emergency base rate, uh, new rate is $1,349.04. ALS non-emergency base rate is $2,155.77. ALS one emergency base rate is $2,155.77. ALS 2 emergency base rate is $3,244.63. Uh, specialty care transport uh, new rate is not applicable. And mileage is, new rate is $36.40. Second. Having a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? And our budget and capital has passed unanimously. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And um, we have number eight orders of the day. There's nothing under licensing matters, nothing under financial matters. We have approval of minutes. Um, we have um, a motion to approve the minutes of May 14th. Officially close the public hearing. We'll have to close the public hearing. Yes. So this time, thank you. We will close the public hearing. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? I move we close the public hearing. Second. Second. A motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Public hearing is closed. Okay, back to May 14th, 2024, open session minutes. Someone would like to make a motion to approve. Sure. I move that we approve the May 14th, 2024 open session minutes. I'll second that. A motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. No old business um, action items. Um, so the one action item I can think of is postponed. Um, um, mm -hmm. requirement for a self-evaluation. I've received questions. I'm compiling them. If anyone else has any, send them quickly, and I will forward them to Tom so that we can um, hear from him on June 11th. And is there any other action items? Hearing none. Um, no executive session. Would there be a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Having a motion made, seconded. No discussion. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You too. Extremely successful. Uh, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Kim.